Did you just make you a racist who, comment? You know what? I am not a racist person. You just you just made but a racist you know what? comment. You need to go home. What? Bro, why does this Snorlax looking ass remind me of that creepy granny with the cookies from SpongeBob? The audacity that people have to say this type of stupid shit. It blows my mind. The woman is telling this Asian guy to go home like as in his own country, but she's literally driving a Honda. So how are you gonna be racist to Asians, but literally be driving a Japanese car? Yo, what's going on YouTube, it's Ivan Steph, and you guys, look, I know, I know, okay, I'm wearing a hat, I normally don't wear hats in my videos, but my hair literally looks like a tornado wiped out an entire city. I haven't had a haircut in over three months. Oh my yeah, goodness! Yeah, uh -huh, yeah. Uh, anyways, but on a real note, Karens are literally taking over 2020. We've had the Central Park Karen whose own dog doesn't even like her. Gas station zebra looking ass Karen who got a well-deserved Conor McGregor right hook to her non-existent jawline. And then there's Julia Wicket for Mr. Bean looking ass who honestly, I just want to slap in the face. I play games where you get fucked to death. Oh, okay, well great. Let me- Fucked to death? Jeez. That's like some next level Ted Bundy type shit right there. And what in tarnation was that smile? Pennywise the clown, fucking truth to dare the movie, fucking I have six kids locked in my basement because I'm Jeffrey Epstein looking ass. So guys, for today's video, as you can tell, we're gonna be reacting to and roasting Karen. And trust me, I don't encourage bullying, but there are certain types of people in this world, like the people we're gonna be looking at today. Go back to whatever fucking Asian country you belong in. Who honestly just deserve a taste of their own medicine. But just before we get into this, I'm really hoping to reach 100,000 subscribers on my channel by the end of the year. So if y'all can leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already, it truly would mean a lot. So anyway guys, as always, let's roll the clip. Let me put your number play too. You get away Great. from me. So this lady I'm calling the just police made you. a racist comment. I can't believe this. You are gonna go to real jail now. Talking about this guy's gonna go to a real jail now? Bitch, you need to go to a real gym now. Like, god damn. I thought Tubby was gonna fall over when she was walking to her car door and cause an earthquake. She literally looks like an inflated balloon that's about to pop. Wait, you are. Kind of man. I think you're going. Respect. respect respect people respect. lady I don't understand your language in respect China, honestly if i were prime minister or president i would have the law reform so that we are allowed to fall on just knock out idiots like these trust me i don't agree with violence when it's not used as self defense but people like this lady I don't understand your language in respect China, are honestly just deserving of a slap to the left cheek this karen is so annoying and immature and just completely racist you have a 60 year old woman literally sounding like a 5 year old having a temper tantrum because she isn't allowed to watch Dora past 8 o'clock. The audacity that this woman has to say what she's saying, oh yeah, and let's not forget when the guy who's recording his own kids are in the car, it, it just blows my mind. Lady. Respect, then you move your car. You're there way you too close. Get away from me. There you go. You don't even know how to park the car. Yo, my man. Savage of the Year Award goes to the guy filming. He's not letting her get under his skin because even he knows how completely of a dumbass she looks right now. And honestly, this lady really needs to learn how to park. You're way too close. Who taught her how to operate a vehicle? That is way over the line. You can tell how far to the right she's parked when she can literally open her front left door all the way out and there is still room beside the curb. Mrs. Puff would not be happy happy right now and speaking of mrs puff actually she, she kind of does look like mrs puff herself you know my know. Family is? there you go do you know who my family is do you know who your family is go home lady this is from my government get go home. educated and you so respect fucked. you're gonna get fucked your get kids are gonna get fucked. respect this is my get country. educated and respect lady this is my did country. you finish this lady really needs to stop with a go home because if we go back in history She's the one on stolen land. So technically speaking, Karen is the one who should be going home right now. You know what? Did you? You are nothing. What did you say? <laughs> You're nothing. I exactly. Did you? You're did nothing you right there. What? <laughs> Lady, <laughs> get ADK. <laughs> What is this woman doing right now? Did her Karen motherboard overheat? She literally looks like a video game character right now, glitching out. Okay, so I found a video of another Karen. 
Not Excuse me, but you did say that she needs to go back to her country. What, what kind of, what kind of, what is that? Excuse me, this is what this whole world is. people are not from this country. And basically it'll give you some context. The one girl was just minding her own business, being served at the convenience store when this ratchet lady comes out of nowhere and tells her to go back to her own country. You know, I don't understand what it is with all these Karens having gray hair and telling people to go back to their own country. Do they really expect people to be like, Okay, thanks America, I'm moving out, see you never. Like, do these Karens honestly expect after they tell someone to go back to their own country, whatever that means, that they actually will? You don't tell- No, 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 Continue serving, continue serving. You need to leave, you're not a part of this. You need to leave, you're not a part of this. No, no, you do not come in here and use the F word and swear and call me a B-I-T-C-H. I've never even said that I said she is and you're not a part of it. So you get out of here. That's really what you're pressed about right now? So let me get this straight. You find it offensive for someone to call you a bitch or use the F word, but you don't find it offensive to be racist and tell someone to go back to their own country? Yeah, makes total sense. Really? Fuck off. You're the one who's not welcome here with your zebra looking ass outfit. How low can your life have gotten to be racist to an innocent girl at a damn gas station? Yeah. You guys know that, right? Yeah, yeah. Where were you born? Where were you born, bitch? I was born in America, bitch. Where are your ancestors from? You're They're going. not from this country. You're going back to Mexico. Bitch. It truly blows my mind to see how much free time people have. Doesn't she have anything else better to be doing? Like, I don't know, taking care of her kids? Actually, you know what? I take that back. I hope to God that this woman doesn't have any kids because honestly, I'd feel bad for them. Bitch, you better go back you to where you're from. You, you just know. You just walked into her. Excuse me. Oh, let's go. Big W. This girl ain't having no more of this woman's crap. Enough is enough. And honestly, sometimes you just gotta knock some sense into these Karens. Excuse me. You know what's funny is that right after she gets slapped, she yells. Oh, wow. oh my God. Yeah, but she deserved it. Starts crying like a little baby. Honestly, what did she expect? She's being racist to this innocent girl. She puts her hand on her like she truly did deserve it. Okay, so the third and last video that we're gonna be taking a look at takes us back to the first lady that we looked at. No, God, please, no! And this one, no! It's even worse. Get the fuck out of this world! Get the fuck out of this state! Go back to whatever fucking Asian country you belong in. Okay, you racist. Fucking bitch. No! This time she's having a temper tantrum on this innocent woman who's minding her own business and stretching on the staircase. And after this video, the Karen that we're taking a look at officially became known as Staircase Karen. We don't play games here anymore, okay? Next time you ever talk to me like that, you're gonna get your ass kicked by my family. They're gonna fuck you up. What did That's I do? Right. They're gonna fuck you Why? up. What did I Who does this woman think she is? We don't play games. I would actually love to see Mrs. Tubby get into a fist fight with one of these people that she starts being racist. I would actually pay for that to happen. Like this would literally be the most hyped fight of the century. That would be more hyped than seeing KSI versus Logan Paul or KSI versus Jake Paul. This, this would top all of that. You are an asshole. Look at the whole stairs to yourself. But you had these Why stairs and that stairs. Why don't you go somewhere else where you can go to a gym? This is not just for you. Go to a gym? Karen, buddy. Look at yourself. I swear, all these Karens are literally the same, just different fat suit and different gray wig. And let's not forget that we're literally going through a pandemic right now and all gyms are closed. So where is this girl gonna work out? I just hate how people feel entitled to public property. Actually, you know what I realized is that she's literally wearing the exact same outfit that she is in the first video. Some people when they retire like to go golfing, to the beach, or maybe even start a business. But this grandma on the other hand spends her days by acting like a complete dumbass and attacking random Asians she finds on her daily walk. Get the fuck out of this world! Get the fuck out of this state! Go back to whatever fucking Asian country you belong in. Okay, you racist. fucking bitch. This is not your place. Who shit in this woman's Cheerios? Like, really? I want to know. And I know what the saying normally goes who pissed in your Cheerios, but this woman has completely lost it. Like she's way out of control. Pissing in someone's Cheerios is one thing, but shitting on someone's Cheerios, it's a whole nother story. She sounds like she just found out that her husband had an affair and this is the girl who he had it with. But that's not the case. She's literally an innocent Asian girl minding her own business, using the outdoors to exercise because the gyms are currently closed. Did you ever say, oh Jesus, to me when I want to use the stairs, you little bitch? There's other stairs. You are a sick, fucking, ignorant teenager. Oh, oh thank wait, you. You're a fucking what, middle aged woman? <laughs> Who wears black in California sun? Who the fuck wears black? Are you an idiot? You were black in California, son? <laughs> <laughs> 
wow, that's all you got? What kind of insult is that? When you run out of racist comments to make, so you insult the color of clothing someone wears. Wow, that is the ultimate low of lows. Honestly, this is just too cringy to watch. So I did a bit of digging on this Karen and her name, well, I'm just gonna spill the tea. Lena Hernandez. Her name is literally everywhere right now and this isn't the first time that she's been attacking people like this. There's a photo of her from October of last year and look at that. She's wearing the same outfit yet again. I swear, this woman literally only has one pair of clothes. You know what, probably because she has no job and is broke because no one would ever want to hire her racist ass. So apparently the girl who took this photo filed the police report in October of last year but still to this day, nothing has come of it. And there's probably even more cases with this woman which either just weren't filmed or haven't gone viral yet. So by making this video, I'm just trying to use my reach, use my exposure, my audience that I can produce on my channel. And hopefully, you know, we can bring more attention to the situation because people like this, Karens that exist in this society should not exist. We can't have these people roaming the streets, giving all of these nasty, just vulgar threats and you know, no jail time, no charges, no nothing out of it. So guys, that's gonna do it for this video. I really hope that you did enjoy. If you did, be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Make sure to follow me on my social media. My Instagram is Ivan Steph Official. My TikTok is Ivan Steph Official. My Twitter is Ivan Steph. And my Snapchat is shock underscore you zero nine. Also, my channel's been blowing up like crazy recently. And I just wanna thank you to all my new subscribers, my old subscribers, everyone. You truly do mean the world to me. Honestly, I read through literally every single comment that I get on my videos. Don't think that you go unnoticed because you don't if you guys want me to react to more karens leave a comment down below and i definitely will but anyway guys that's officially gonna do it for this video and until next time it's been i'm steph peace